for pretty much 90% of the crops that we grow in our garden, as in life, there's a beginning and there's an end. Annuals are the name of the game and even heavy hitters like peppers and these tomatoes here don't last forever. All good things must eventually come to an end. But in gardening, it's never truly the end, as every part of the plant can serve a purpose. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we always serve a purpose. And today's episode is all about chop and drop. More specifically, a quick breakdown of what it is, how you can do it at home, and why it's such a great gardening practice. Hey, time short as you know it is, so let's dive in. With good soil, lots of sunlight, and the right amount of water, our crops can truly reach epic proportions. After harvesting all that bounty though, many growers simply yank out the spent plants at the end of the season. Honestly, this is one of the worst things that you can do for your garden, as well as your soil. Plus, it's a lot of unnecessary work. Chop and Drop solves this, and cleaning up your garden at the end of the season has never been easier. As the name implies, Chop and Drop is simply just that and it tries to mimic what nature does every fall. Leaves, stems, branches, and even logs. Plant material constantly falls to the ground, becoming food for the soil, as well as its next top layer. On top of that, it also protects the current top layer from exposure and extreme elements as the ultimate mulch. So why not do it at home? It's easy, let me show you how. First, you may have to cut away some of that foliage so that you can see the base of the plant. In this case, a red brushing kale. Once you do, cut the plant down right at the root color and simply lay it down in place. Honestly, that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, in the case of big plants like corn, I do cut up the stalks into smaller pieces, but it's not necessary. Remember, even though this is really good for the garden, we're also here to minimize the work. What may look like a daunting task, I'll take out this tomato bed in mere minutes. And the bonus of it all is we're adding back the specific nutrient profile that the plants originally took out in the first place. How cool is that? Almost as cool as checking out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, make sure to subscribe and click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.